Today's Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection November 19, 2022 Saturday The 33rd Week in Ordinary Time We bless your name, O Lord, for sending your own incarnate Son to become part of a family, so that, as he lived its life, he would experience its worries and its joys. We ask you, Lord, to protect and watch over this family, so that in the strength of your grace its members may enjoy prosperity, possess the priceless gift of your peace, and, as the church alive in the home, bear witness in this world to your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. First reading. A reading from the Revelation to John. Revelations chapter 11 verse 4 to 12. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Here are my two witnesses. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire comes out of their mouths and devours their enemies. In this way, anyone wanting to harm them is sure to be slain. They have the power to close up the sky so that no rain can fall during the time of their prophesying. They also have power to turn water into blood and to afflict the earth with any plague as often as they wish. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will wage war against them and conquer them and kill them. Their corpses will lie in the main street of the great city, which has the symbolic name Sodom and Egypt, where indeed their Lord was crucified. Those from every people, tribe, tongue, and nation will gaze on their corpses for three and a half days, and they will not allow their corpses to be buried. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and be glad and exchange gifts because these two prophets tormented the inhabitants of the earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. When they stood on their feet, great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven say to them, Come up here. So they went up to heaven in a cloud as their enemies looked on. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Peace Psalms chapter 144 verse 1, 2 and 9 to 10. Let our response be, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fortress my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-stringed lyre I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings, and deliver David, your servant from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 10. Alleluia, Alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Luke chapter 20 verse 27 to 40. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her. And likewise all the seven died childless. Finally the woman also died. Now at the resurrection whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry. 
but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called Lord the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And he is not God of the dead, but of the living. For to him all are alive. Some of the scribes said in reply, Teacher, you have answered well. And they no longer dared to ask him anything. The Gospel of the Lord Before we proceed with the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also, please hit the notification bell, so you won't miss out when we release new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions, and reflections at the comments section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's proceed with the video. The Reflection on Today's Gospel The Gospel today gives us the discussion of the Sadducees with Jesus on faith in the Resurrection. The Gospel today begins with the following affirmation. The Sadducees affirm that there is no Resurrection. The Sadducees were an elite type of aristocrat. They were conservative, insisting on a literal interpretation of the law, and were invested in Roman rule and order. They did not accept faith in the Resurrection. At that time, this faith was beginning to be valued by both the Pharisees and by ordinary people. This motivated people to resist the dominion of the Romans and of the priests, elders, and the Sadducees for whom the Messianic Kingdom was already present in the status quo. The Sadducees were typically well off and content with the way things were at the time. They wanted religion to remain immutable like God himself. To ridicule faith in the resurrection, they created fictitious cases in which faith in the resurrection seemed absurd. According to the law of the time, if the husband died without leaving any children, his brother had to marry the widow of the deceased man. This was done in case someone died without any descendants. In such cases, the dead man's property would go to another family. The Sadducees invented this story of a woman who buried seven husbands, brothers among themselves, and then she herself also died without children. And they asked Jesus, this woman then, in the resurrection, whose wife will she be? Because the seven of them had her as wife. This was invented in order to show that faith in the resurrection creates absurd situations, and exemplifies the literal interpretation the Sadducees gave to the law. The response of Jesus displays the irritation of one who cannot bear pretense or deceit. Jesus cannot bear hypocrisy on the part of the elite which manipulates and ridicules faith in God to legitimize and defend its own interests. The response contains two parts. You understand nothing of the resurrection. The children of this world take wives and husbands. But those who are judged worthy of a place in the other world and in the resurrection from the dead, do not marry, because they can no longer die. For they are the same as the angels and being children of the resurrection, they are children of God. Jesus explains that the condition of persons after death will be totally different from the current condition. After death, there will be no marriages and all will be like angels in heaven. The Sadducees imagined life in heaven the same as life on earth. You understand nothing about God, that the dead will rise. Moses has also showed this in regard to the bush, when he calls the Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God is not God of the dead, but of the living, because all live in him. The disciples are attentive and learn. Those who are on the side of the Sadducees find themselves on the opposite side of God. Then some of the scribes says, Master you have spoken well and they no longer dared to ask him any more questions. It is possible that some of these scribes were Pharisees, because the Pharisees believed in the resurrection. Either way, 
Jesus reduced his opponents to silence. Today, how do the groups which have power imitate the Sadducees and prepare traps in order to prevent changes in the world and in the church? Do you believe in the resurrection? When you say that you believe in the resurrection, do you think about something of the past, of the present or of the future? Have you ever had an experience of resurrection in your life? This I believe I shall see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. Put your hope in Yahweh. Be strong. Let your heart be bold. Put your hope in Yahweh.